or very few sides having watched that that will fancy a trip to St James's Park. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, it's a difficult place to go at the best of times. But, um, you know, I think they got Dortmund coming up twice now, home and away. So it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. But Dortmund will have to uh, adjust accordingly to know that Newcastle are going to harness that atmosphere and going to come after them. We're starting to see, though, Richard, uh, can they keep this going on, on all fronts? You know, they got the Premier League the weekend back in the Champions League. They're starting to pick up a few injuries. You look at that Newcastle bench tonight. They're missing Callum Wilson. They're missing Joe Linton, Sven Botman. Is it is this kind of is the high intensity football sustainable? No, that's why I think the the manager is really good because he will change how they play. Um, you can see maybe against Man City in the Carabao Cup, they sat back a little bit against certain teams. They will do that. Certain teams they'll go and press early. Um, so he has got different styles of playing, but surely a, like the squad that they've got isn't capable of competing on four fronts. Maybe in January if they're still in them, they'll strengthen again. But they have to have priorities, I think, this season, Newcastle. And for them, it, it's difficult because they're desperate to win a trophy. The Carabao Cup might be their best chance of it. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm sure when, when you're winning games, everyone feels great, everyone feels fresh. So long may you continue. They're still there, put themselves in a fantastic position now in the Champions League. Do you see them getting out of this group? I think so. I think the confidence that they take from this, they, they can't wait for the next two games against Dortmund. Then they get to go to Paris. You know, and then they finish up with the, with, with, with the last game at home. So, you know, it's difficult to compete in all four fronts for them. But could you imagine the, the level of adrenaline that will be flowing through the Newcastle's players? They will be heroes, gods up in Newcastle. They won't be able to go out in public because of what they've done. That's how, you know, invested that city is in, in football. So the players can feed off that. The energy levels they can have, they'll probably tire out at some point. But that won't be for a long time yet. They'll get to the back half of the season, I would have thought. I really fancy them to get out of this group now after that because now they maybe feel like we belong, we've arrived. So um, all the best of them.